endurance training um, is also an intervention that I think can help. I, I think it's counterintuitive to think that endurance training uh, can help with sarcopenia. However, if we, if we go back to the um, oxidative, oxidative stress and how that relates to sarcopenia, as well as the mitochondrial dysfunction, I think there, there's an argument that can be made that these patients also need endurance training to improve that. Um, now, obviously, aerobic exercise is going to be less likely to cause muscle hypertrophy, um, but you, you do see mitochondrial volume and enzyme activity increasing, uh, improved muscle protein synthesis, the muscle quality improves. I think as well as the improvements um, that you see at a cell cellular level, level, there's also this reduction in body fat, including intramuscular fat. You know, and we, if we think back to all the cascade of events that happens with visceral adiposity from inflammation to insulin resistance, I think even reducing body fat can make a huge change in these patients and, and help put them in a better metabolic state uh, to help reduce their, their chances of progressive sarcopenia. Um, <clears throat> endurance training has been shown to improve the function of the muscle relative to their body weight. Mm -hmm.